so this they are asking about the treatment they are asking about treatment so what is the pathology first of all there is a high pitch apical holocystonic murmur that radiates to left axilla heart shouldn't be heard to axilla the murmur shouldn't come to axilla this is some sort of dilated cardiomyopathy guys okay she is coming from peru yeah it can be rheumatic heart disease too but ultimately the pathology is uh, dilated cardiomyopathy okay which can be due to any sort she see she doesn't drink alcohol she can't be due to alcohol or anything else so in uh, whenever there is a dilated cardiomyopathy what should we do as a treatment what should we do so dilated cardiomyopathy basically means the blood is pooling inside the uh, inside the ventricle the s3 remember s3 sound that is the case so there is a, this problem due to apical holocystolic murmur that radius to left axilla which means mitral regurgitation is there always apical when you hear a murmur in apical region it's always mitral pathology okay so what shall we do we can either increase the heartbeat which you all of the most of you people answer or we can decrease the total peripheral resistance so that less work has to be done or we can do something like you know end diastolic pressure we can change we can increase the coronary blood flow so that you know heart becomes strong with blood flow but what's the problem like even if all the answers all the answers appear to be correct what's the problem with others because the correct answer is going to be a it's always a in dilated cardiomyopathy but why not others why not others see understand whenever you increase the cardiac muscle inotropy which means you are you know increasing the pace at which the speed and the strength at which it will be contracting which will ultimately lead to increase in oxygen demand heart muscle will need more oxygen for that so you are creating a problem rather than solving you are also creating yeah of course it will clear out the blood but it will need more oxygen so that's not feasible second thing uh, increase in left vestibular ventricular and diastolic pressure and diastolic pressure means uh, pressure at the end of the when heart is fully relaxed the pressure which is very high in this case because there is so much blood in the dilated ventricle and you are you want to increase that yet you are basically increasing you are making the heart more dilated no that's not feasible so c um, option can be correct increase the rate of sno discharge basically the same thing that if you increase the rate of sno discharge you will contract more and increase oxygen demand okay and increasing coronary blood flow what does that do guys giving oxygen doesn't mean it is going to be strong you are just giving more oxygen heart is the tissue which extracts most of the oxygen you should know this the heart is the tissue which extracts most of the oxygen from coronary blood most so the uh, most uh, there is a question that most deoxygenated blood in the body is found in answer should be always coronary sinus which drains the venous supply from heart so this is a good mcq so i guess you guys know why the answer can be should be a because we are just decreasing the afterload afterload decrease so heart can efficiently pump now at a lower oxygen need so this is feasible rest all are feasible but ultimately you are increasing oxygen demand which will be create a havoc in the patient thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more